Our final full segment already uh, here on Open Line yeah. on this Wednesday night, and uh, we're going to continue taking your calls as we talk about uh, the topic of refusing to provide service based on your religious beliefs, but it also balances against uh, protected classes of citizens here in the United States. That's right. the big debate here that we're going back and forth on, and uh, we, were, we put our first live segment here on our Facebook page, News Channel 5's Facebook page. You can watch that if, you, if you're not able to uh, get to a TV, if you're just listening to us. All right, we want to go to CW who's been holding patiently. Hi, CW. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, yes. sir. Go ahead. Uh, well, I'd like to make two points because okay. I'm kind of in the middle of the road here. On this okay. Uh, I think a lot of people are, are saying that. that they're. Yeah, I mean, I, I know people that's gay. I actually... I know two or three. Uh, well, you're looking at one on your screen right now. So. Yeah, and I understand. And the fact is, though, y'all, this whole country was based on Christianity. The Constitution of the United States, if you read it, I mean, it, these people was not, they were not other religions. They were Christians. Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, all the writers of the Constitution were, and I understand that part, but on the other side, these people is getting all irate about it, and the Christians too. These church people, a lot of them preach, you know, all this stuff, and it does say in the Bible, but it also says in the Bible that you gotta love everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You no, know, you don't hate people. It's like, I I've told people several times, like, all right, if you believe it's wrong, it's great, but what about a drunk? You know, you hate alcoholism, uh, do you hate the man? Are you going to just turn your back on him? No. Uh, well, I think what you're pointing to is not only a conflict between secular and religion, but there's also a debate within religion. Yes. Different um, principles within exactly Christianity. Right. Look, brother. Yeah. You know, and, and another thing, it's kind of like, you know, they ban the smoking, and I, I don't smoke. I hate freaking going in a restaurant, or I drive an 18-wheeler. And smelling that smoke, you know. But on the other, but here's the point, though, man. If it was some more smoke, I passed the damn place, you know. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, I didn't stop there. Right. So I think the business had the right to, you know, do what they wanted, and I had the right to pass it if I didn't like to. So I kind of see both sides of the thing, and, you know. Right. I just, I'm just an old Tennessean, y'all, and that's the way I see it. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean, you know. Yeah. yeah, and I think a lot of people let are me, weighing me, the same issues you CW, are. CW, let me ask and you this. At a big point, I think he has the right to do it, but on other hand, I'm like, man, I wouldn't do that to nobody. You know? Yeah, CW, let me ask you this, mm -hmm. saying that you're an old old uh, Tennessean and, and maybe were raised up in a more conservative environment down south uh, in general. Mm -hmm. You think your views have changed as you've gotten older, and now you, like you said, you know some gay people that, are, that may be friends of yours, coworkers, or whatever. That, uh, yeah, that, that your views have changed a little bit. Two couples of them that are conservatives, you know. But I'm not, and I hate people say, "Are you a Republican?" No, I'm not a Republican. I'd hate to attach myself with a political party because <laughs> they're all crazy. You're just <laughs> independent. I like the independent thinker. Independent. I'm going to tell you that straight up. I'm an independent, but, you know, See, I mean, you just got to read that Constitution. And y'all yeah. got to remember, I mean, if it wasn't for these people that came here, thank God. And, and remember, this is D-Day. I had a great yeah. uncle died this day, and it's buried in Normandy, France right now. Right. No kidding. Wow. Well, thank like, you. I think of D-Day every day, and I think I'm proud to be an American. And, you know, so yeah. on that point, I'm like, all this other stuff, you know, I, I used to watch football. But, I mean, that's a whole other... Uh, Y'all put on another show about that. All right. Okay. Thanks, CW. Thanks. Have a good night. I, appreciate it. You know, I, I appreciate the perspective he brings. And I, I, I appreciate the perspective of small-town Tennesseans. I'm worried about members of my community in those small towns being denied service alone and ostracized and needing to get something they need to live or for their safety. Like you said, we're not talking about just a cake here. We're That's talking right. about essential services. You know, if someone turns me away, it's going to upset me, but I can go next door in Nashville, Tennessee. You have choices. But there are towns where you don't have a choice. I want to go back to CW's argument yep. only because just the other day I, I heard this argument 
um, and it may have actually been yesterday, about our country and the Constitution being based on Christianity. And that there's an argument. Some people say, no, that's, that's a big fallacy. That in fact, most of the founding fathers were deists. They believed in yep. a God. That if you look on everything, it's in God we trust. It's not right. in Jesus we trust. Right. That, that they were much more broad. They were broader thinkers than they were. Than what? Uh, and this argument and it's Jefferson brought up cut over up the and, Bible. I mean, he cut up the New Testament and said, "These are the parts I think actually Jesus said and were real, and these are the things I would throw out." Right. And that is used so much. It is. You hear that we are we are our country is based on. Judeo-Christian beliefs, not doctrine, though, mm -hmm. is what I, you know, the argument where I hear it. it's like, well, beliefs is one thing; th those are very broad, general. Right. That's right. You know, but the actual doctrine, no, this is what we were getting. We were getting away from that when we founded this country. Well, again, if, if we were, if our laws were based on Christianity, the passage I read out of Matthew's Gospel about not resisting those who sue you and ask you for things would be in the law, but it's not in the law. We don't use the tenets of Christianity to make our laws. We make our laws broadly applicable. Because there's there's more than just Christians living That's in right. this country. That's right. That's absolutely right. And also religion, uh, whatever religion it is, generally are councils of perfection. There's practicality in them, but the law is not based on per, uh, perfection. The law is based upon what will hold our society together and keep it safe and keep it running generally, uh, restraining our worst impulses. Uh, so they're dealing with two different realms in many ways. Okay, we've got one minute left, Chris, before we go to this final break. Yep. What's next, do you think, uh, after this case? You said there are going to be more cases, obviously. I understand in another state there is a case about a florist that will be coming up again. Okay. Uh, I kind of wish we'd get away from the wedding thing because yeah. while, while that's important to establish the principle, uh, I think there are people being turned away from vital services right. in states like, like Tennessee. And that is really where we need a case, I think. Um, so we'll see. But I, I think this will take years to sort out. And it may not be the same members of the court who sorted out, who sorted this case out. This case, like so many others, it, you know, worked their way through how many circuits and before they get to the Supreme Court. That's right. Uh, absolutely. All right. Now we're going to take our final break and we will wrap things up with Chris and you, the viewers, right after this. Stay with us.